Today I got the Steph Curry Golden State Warriors Classic Edition jersey in. So a couple weeks ago I let you guys know about the pre-order that Nike had and I was just expecting Nike to just release it themselves. I didn't expect Fanatics to come out a couple days ago and you know just actually have them in stock which was so weird because usually if Nike has them they kind of just sell it first and then like Fanatics in the NBA store would like slowly get them in later throughout the year. But it was just so weird that Fanatics had it in hand first. So if you guys stayed tuned on the channel, which if you hit that notification bell, I'll try to keep you guys up to date. But today we're gonna take a closer look at this jersey. I mean, this thing sold out. The pre-order sold out quick. When it was on Fanatics, I just checked tonight. Um, it's, it's gone. The classic edition jerseys are gonna be for the three original teams of the NBA. You got the Boston Celtics, the New York Knicks, and you got the Golden State Warriors, which was known as the Philadelphia Warriors. And actually, Steph Curry literally busted 50 points last night in this uniform. So, the Golden State Warriors Classic Edition, out of the three, I mean, I'm not even a Warriors fan, but it is the best looking, in my opinion. And we got it in hand. So, in today's video, we're just going to take a closer look at the finer details and see if this is something you want to purchase yourself. So, if you're able to get it, I mean... Good luck, because it is tough. But if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when there's sales or new releases or updates, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Right here, we got the first look. Boom! Look at that, you got Warriors across the chest. You got the Nike logo. Besides the swoosh, you got the lettering. You got the back right here, number 30, Steph Curry. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Right here, we're going to start off with the NBA logo. So, it's a swingman jersey, so everything's going to be heat pressed. But on these classic edition jerseys, it's going to be nice and embroidered onto the jersey. As you can see right here, not heat pressed, it's embroidered on. Then, go to the top of the collar. You've got that rib material with the yellow or gold with the red trim or red streak that goes down the middle. Then you got the arm openings as well. And since it's a swingman jersey, you got Curry, heat pressed lettering and numbering. So lettering, Steph Curry, all white, nice and clean, very flush. Then you got the three zero. So you have a red and white colorway, all heat pressed, got the zero, same style as well. And when you go down to the corner, so this year the jersey runs will have the dry fit or the material that's made out of it on the bottom right corner. And that right there, guys, is the back of the jersey. And in the front side of the jersey, you got the same collar. You have a rounded collar, same colorway. You got the red in the middle, or well, kind of on the outer edge. And then right here, so you can see where the NBA logo is embroidered. So they moved this a little off center. You got the NBA, the Nike logo, dry fit, large, made in Thailand, and the recycling symbol. Then we'll go down to the retail tags, 130 bucks. This is a size large. They use a kind of recycled, kind of like cardboard looking material. Gives you all the information in here. NBA tag right there. They kind of lessen the tags compared to the years prior. Then we go to the Nike logo. So instead of the swoosh, you also get the lettering Nike. And that's actually embroidered. So usually on Swingman jerseys, they are heat pressed, just the swoosh part. So this is actually embroidered. Look at it, nice and clean. Just very beautiful looking. Then the heat pressed lettering and numbering. So you got warriors across the chest. So you got that red and white colorway, and it kind of gives you like a 3D effect on the lettering, which is sick. Then you got number 30, Steph Curry. Same thing as the back, just a little smaller numbering. Right down there, nothing on the side panels, but we go down to the jock tag. So it's a Swingman NBA Authentics. You got size 48, you got the Nike logo. And now this year they added a little tab right here. It says classic edition. And on these uh, classic edition swingmans, they usually, well not usually, but 
They usually don't have this, but there's a little side split. And then you can see there's like reinforced stitching here so it doesn't pull away easy right down there. Then we got the wash tags, Thailand, Nike code, and then no Q, um, no quality control code there. But that right there, guys, is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 180 pounds. Man, I gained some weight. It's hoodie season, so I gotta hide my belly. But usually with jerseys, I go in between a medium or large. So if I'm on the slimmer side, I go with a medium. I just go with my t-shirt size. But if you have like a bulkier build or got some extra weight like me, I go a size up. So t-shirt size, and if you know you need a little more room, a little more relaxed fit, or wear a hoodie underneath, I go a size up. So right here, you got the front of the jersey. You got the Warriors across the chest, the logo. Man, the 3D kind of like look that this jersey has is dope. Nothing on the side panel, but you can see the little split on the side. So you got that on both sides. Then you got the back of the jersey. You got Steph Curry. That guy always runs around. Always runs around. <laughs> and that's it. With these classic edition jerseys, they're pretty much your regular swingman jerseys. I mean, the only thing is, it's only three teams that get it. And they kind of tweaked the material a little bit this year. So, um, the material on the actual Swingman base is a little, a little thinner, just a slight bit thinner, same dry fit. Um, I've talked about it in other videos. It just feels like it's a little more stretched out. And I did notice on the authentic versions um, that there's a little, little difference in the way they build it this year. Um, it looks like they're adding a little more uh, length, not length, a little more width. So like an inch bigger on these jerseys. So they're not as slim fit compared to years prior. So, and then on this, everything's heat pressed because it's a swingman jersey, but you get the embroidered Nike logo and the embroidered Jerry West logo. So that's the only little difference. So it's a different design and it's a rarer design because not every team gets it and you just get a little upgraded features. Overall, I think this jersey is probably one of the better jerseys that they're going to release this year. And this is not even the City Edition jerseys. So, I mean, those come out next week, but I think this is so clean. And just seeing it on TV, seeing like it on court, they look amazing. And I'm not even a Warriors fan, and dude, I think it looks awesome. And for those people who got the pre-order, that pre-ordered it through Nike, I mean, what sucks is you have to wait. I think I did remember seeing it, it gets shipped out on December 3rd. I was not expecting anyone else to like release these. So, but the good thing is that if you did pre-order it, you're guaranteeing yourself a size. So right now these things sell out off the shelves within a day or two and you know, it's gonna be hard to get. And I imagine that people are gonna be reselling these or it's gonna be harder to find, but also more expensive to buy if you do find a legit version of this. So if you did get the pre-order, it is another wait. You probably got another month or so, but at least you actually have it locked in and you don't have to pay double or triple the price for resale prices. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks again for watching, guys. And on to the next video.